In about 90 BC, King Mosiah allows his sons to leave Zarahemla to preach the word of God to their enemies, the Lamanites. Ammon is captured and offers to be King Lamoni's servant. Based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. Asked much and prayed much that the Lord might grant unto us a portion of his spirit. Remember the Lord's promise to our Father that many shall believe on our words. And he will deliver us out of the hands of the Lamanites. The Lord said unto us, If we are patient in our long suffering and afflictions and show forth good examples unto them, we will witness the salvation of many souls. Grant unto us a portion of thy spirit to go with us and abide with us, that we might be an instrument in thy hands to bring, if it is possible, our brethren, the Lamanites, to the knowledge of the truth. A Nephite has been captured in the borders of our land. Bring the dissenter to me. I will decide if he will be slain or cast into prison. Why do you venture into our land? I desire to dwell among this people for a time. Perhaps until the day I die. This Nephite pleases me. Loose his bands. I would that you should take one of my daughters to wife. I 
I thank you, but nay. I will be thy servant. You shall be set among my other servants to watch my flocks. our brethren because their flocks were scattered. Let us go in search of the flocks and we will gather them together. We will preserve the flocks unto the king and he will not slay us. Circle the flocks. Now we're going to contend with these men. King, we have come to tell you of the faithfulness and great power of Ammon, the Nephite. What has he done? At the water of Sebus, men attempted to scatter your flocks, but Ammon stood forth and defended them. He smote off every arm that was raised against him. Surely this is more than a man. Is not this the great spirit that doth send such great punishments upon this people because of their murders? Whether he be the great spirit or a man, we know not. But this much we do know, that he cannot be slain by the enemies of the king. This is the great spirit of whom our fathers have spoken. slain many of these men's brethren. I suppose that whatever I did was right. But I fear that I have done wrong in slain my servants. Where is this man that has such great power? He is feeding thy horses. Surely there has not been any servant among all my servants that has been so faithful as this man. For even he doth remember all my commandments to execute them. Now I surely know that this is the great spirit. 
and I would desire him that he'd come in unto me. But I durst not. What desirest thou of me? Is it because thou hast heard that I defended thy servants and thy flocks? What is it that thy marvelings are so great? Behold, I am a man, and am thy servant. Therefore, whatsoever thou desirest, which is right, that will I do. Who art thou? Art thou that great spirit who knows all things? I am not. Then how knowest thou the thoughts of my heart? Thou mayest speak boldly, and tell me concerning these things. If thou wilt tell me concerning these things, Whatsoever thou desirest, I will give unto thee. And if it were needed, I would guard thee with my armies. But I know that thou art more powerful than all they. Nevertheless, whatsoever thou desirest of me, I will grant it unto thee. Wilt thou hearken unto my words if I tell thee by what power I do these things? Yea, I will believe all thy words. Believest thou that there is a God? I do not know what that meaneth. Believest thou that there is a great spirit? Yea. This is God. Believest thou that this great spirit, who is God, created all things which are in the heaven and in the earth? Yea, I believe that he created all things which are in the earth. But I do not know the heavens. The heavens is a place where God dwells, and all his holy angels. Is it above the earth? Yea. And he looketh down upon all the children of men. And he knows all the thoughts and intents of the heart. Believe all the things which thou hast spoken. Art thou sent from God? I am a man, and I am called by his Holy Spirit to teach these things unto this people, that they may be brought to a knowledge of that which is just and true. And a portion of that Spirit dwelleth in me which giveth me knowledge and also power according to my faith and desires which are in God. I desire that you should teach me. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God saw, and it was good. And after Adam and Eve had partaken of the forbidden fruit, they were driven out of the Garden of Eden. And the Messiah cometh in the fullness of time, that he may redeem the children of men from the fall. And he offereth himself a sacrifice for sin. And he shall be called Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe all these things which thou hast spoken. Oh Lord, have mercy. 
according to thy abundant mercy, which thou hast had upon the people of Nephi, have upon me and my people. My queen has been two days and nights. Our king is gone. Mother, he should be laid in the sepulcher. My queen, Ammon is a prophet of a holy God and he has power to do many mighty works in his name. Abish, bring him to me. Ammon! The queen has called for you. What would you have me do? It has been made known unto me that thou art a prophet of a holy God. If this is the case, I would that ye should go in and see my husband. For some say that he is not dead, but others say that he is dead and that he stinketh, and that he ought to be placed in the sepulchre. But as for myself, to me, he doth not stink. He is not dead, but he sleepeth in God. And on the morrow, he shall rise again. Therefore, bury him not. Believest thou this? I have had no witness save thy word and the word of our servants. Nevertheless, I believe it shall be according as thou hast said. Blessed art thou because of thy exceeding faith. There's not been such great faith among all the people of the Nephites. Blessed be the name of God, and blessed art thou. For as sure as thou livest, I have seen my Redeemer. And he shall come forth and be born of a woman, and he shall redeem all mankind who believe his name. Oh God. I thank thee for what thou hast done for this people.
are dead. A new fight. A great evil has come upon the king in his house. For he has suffered a Nephi to remain in his land. The king had brought this evil upon his house because he slew his servant. That man killed my brother. <gasps> He's the great spirit. He is a prophet sent from God. He's a monster sent by the Nephites to torment us. Oh, blessed Jesus, who has saved me from an awful hell. Oh, blessed God, have mercy on this people. This is a man of God, and he has taught me many things. He has taught me about the creation of the world and the fall of man. He has taught me about the coming of our Redeemer. I have seen my Redeemer, and my heart has been changed as has mine. Let us teach the people the things of God. And thus the work of the Lord did commence among the Lamanites. Thus the Lord did begin to pour out his spirit upon them. And we see that his arm is extended to all people who will repent and believe on his name. <laughs>